Drop a like on this video within five seconds or this scary clown's gonna try and get you in your sleep. I would not risk it. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Badge Plug, and today we have so much stuff to talk about, so we're gonna get straight into it. But before we get into that, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for all the support on this daily upload grind that I've been on, and I continue to keep uploading as much as possible. So for those of you that keep supporting me, man, I really appreciate it if you guys could drop a like on this video and let's get into this news. As most of you all know, the Puma Mania event right now is out on 2K20 and we're on the last lap, ladies and gentlemen. It starts off with double rep, then triple rep the next day, then quadruple rep on the last day. And I, myself, badge plug, will be hitting legend very soon. So make sure if you guys haven't subscribed to hit that subscribe button. But if you already have, to click that bell right next to subscribe and select all notifications. But we've been talking about this for a while now, the boosting epidemic in 2K20. And obviously when there's events that come out that's gonna give you double, triple, quadruple rep, just like the last Puma Mania event, there is going to be a lot of boosters ladies and gentlemen a lot of them and i've been getting tagged on twitter relentlessly i really do appreciate you guys tagging me on twitter and showing me these things i've been telling you guys for a minute now if you see anything you want me to put in my videos make sure to tag me and you guys have definitely been doing that my twitter has been spammed i'm gonna pop all these up on the screen for you guys there's so many more but there's a lot of people boosting in this puma mania event agent double zero himself said so basically everyone is boosting for puma and that's pretty true a lot of people are out here boosting on the puma mania event and a lot of people are getting exposed and what i'm saying is if you guys want to you know be youtubers or twitch streamers or whatever you want to be in the community don't boost it's not worth it because that's a really bad look on your name boosting in the 2k community is something that has never been overlooked if you get caught boosting people are on you for it even though a lot of people should get a lot more heat in the 2k community for boosting like winning gold rush and you know winning mountain dew back in the day when people used to say oh beat me and i'll give you an ad stuff like that that's like low-key boosting and people didn't even know about it but even if you don't want to be a content creator or anything you guys know that 2k is out here on the banning spree they were banning a lot of people in the last event and they were banning people over and over so be careful out there guys if you're worried about getting banned then i suggest you don't boost because all it takes is one person to snap a little screenshot or a video send it to 2k support and you will probably get banned for it so be careful anyway 2k labs posted the analytics for hot start and how it works they finally broke it down for everybody on their website and you there's also a video on their youtube channel that you guys can look at but all you have to do is look at the gold percentage 22 percent and the hall of fame 20.5 then you go down and the gold is somehow better on the guard how is it better with a 70 rating on gold than hall of fame then on the 90 rating also you can see that this silver badge on a 90 plus rating has a 28.5 green percent window increase and the white is 55 percent meanwhile gold and hall of fame are not near those percentages so 2k once again has another badge that yeah it works but a badge on a lower tier like silver works better than the badge on hall of fame how do you make a game where that's even possible y'all like this is apps this is so frustrating for me because if you guys haven't seen you know uh my video where i talked about corner specialist it's supposedly better on silver than it is on hall of fame there's badges in this game like ankle breaker that only works for snatchbacks like there's badges like that then there's badges that don't even work like i'm pretty sure difficult shots doesn't work at all because i don't even use difficult shots and i still get just as many greens as i do when it's off a lot of people say that tireless shooter doesn't work and maybe those badges do work a tiny tiny bit you know like the percentages go up a tiny bit but it's almost unnoticeable if they do so when 2k labs tests out all these badges we'll finally see but like Lob City Passer, y'all, I'm telling you right now, I've been grinding all weekend on the Puma Mania event, and I'm telling you that Lob City Passer does not do anything. Like, it literally does not work. Now, it might work on, like, bronze or silver or gold, but I've had it on Hall of Fame, and it doesn't do anything. It does not do anything. So I took it off, and I'm throwing the exact amount of oops and the same success rate as I was before and if you guys haven't heard me say it before you've heard another youtuber say that unpluckable doesn't even work almost every single person says that bronze unpluckable and hall of fame unpluckable are the exact same so what is the reason 
to even rock it on Hall of Fame. I don't even use Stop and Go anymore. That was a badge that I was using, you know, since the beginning of 2K20. And honestly, I need to give you guys a badge update video on a lot of things, on a lot of my categories, because I don't use a lot of the same badges I was using two weeks ago, because I've been figuring out that these badges don't even do anything. How does 2K make a game and the badges don't even work, y'all? They don't even work. How does one badge that's bronze work better than one badge, the same exact badge, if you had it on gold? How does one badge not even work at all? It's completely ridiculous. And correct me if I'm wrong, y'all, but I don't remember in previous 2Ks where badges didn't work. I literally don't remember a single badge that didn't work. And now what I'm thinking is, you know, since 2K Lapses came out, I think they came out in 2K18, but they just started testing badges, I think, last year or this year. How long have we been playing 2K and we didn't even know that some badges were not increasing our percentages? Or we didn't even know that some badges helped you more at a lower tier than other badges? But now that I'm thinking about it, the only thing that I can come up with is in 2K17, people said that Gold Hustle Rebounder was better than Hall of Fame. That's the only thing. I can think of but it's just like what is 2k doing they've completely lost their grip this year how are badges not even working like that what's the point of even having the badge in the game or even letting people go past a certain tier if the tier before that is better anyway because i could sit here and get mad and rant for half an hour but that's not gonna do anything so chalk posted on his twitter and he said i dropped ronnie 2k off twice dot 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 with a 10 year old video tomorrow hashtag nba 2k20 and ld 2k <laughs> He responded to that and he said, you're my hero at chalk. And then he said in another tweet in a string of replies, every community member's resolution for 2020 should be dropping off Ronald. And then he replied again and said, I'm about to get the three P block, aren't I? So LD2K was sending shots at chalk. He was saying, you know, oh, wow, you beat Ronnie2K. That's crazy. And at the same time, you know, it was obviously a big joke. They were both joking back and forth with each other because chalk replied to that. And he said, I continuously beat Ronald until he ended his stream, literally ran him offline. What a great feeling. And this dude replied under his tweet and he said, I feel bad for you, Ronnie2K. Even your co-workers don't like you. So LD2K is out here talking trash. He's like, yo, Chalk, you beat Ronnie2K. Do you know who you just beat? Anyone can beat Ronnie2K, all right? For our next story of the day, I have to show you guys what 2K TV just posted about the new part coming soon to 2K20, the new theme. The neighborhood is going to start looking a lot like different starting next week. So enjoy the bitter cold and check back here each week. There's no way 2K really just did this. Let me show you guys a lot different. Here's the before picture and get ready for the after wow oh my gosh y'all i couldn't even tell that that was the same neighborhood from 2k19 i had no like how how could you even possibly think that that's the same park from before the, what no way you gotta be kidding me no nah, but seriously 2k is just digging a deeper and deeper hole and they are not even caring how far down they go they literally enchanted their shovel like in minecraft it's uh, it's got the v on it and they are just digging down at an extremely fast rate and they don't care they're gonna hit bedrock and they're still gonna keep going it's just that's terrible it's almost like 2k is just toying with us at this point they're trying to make us mad for some reason i don't know why but they're trying to make us mad maybe because we're gonna be all mad about this game and then boom 2k21 is gonna have all this stuff that they say is gonna happen and then they're gonna lie again and then maybe 2k will deliver for the next gen but you know we'll see about that if you guys didn't see my last video i talked about the best way to earn vc right now in 2k20 and obviously you know when you do a glitch be careful because you could get banned but if you did miss that i'll have the link in the description for it but the guy who posted that video which i will pop up right here on the screen found an even better method bishop combos unlimited vc glitch how to win quick method in order to 
beat the computers a lot faster because for those of you that have played computers before you know they can get really annoying so this video is all about how to get them stuck and stuff and you can get the games over much much faster so i'm gonna leave both of the links in the description make sure to go show this guy some love tell him you came from badge plug and for the last thing we're gonna talk about today grinding df said community is not the same this year lmao everybody's so hostile for no reason and that's true it really did seem like in 2k19 that the community took a big big step which it did it took a very big step but it just seems like this year we've taken steps backwards and the first and only way to get that first step forward is we have to stop being so toxic if you watch a youtuber's video and you don't like it just move on you don't have to leave a very hateful comment because you don't know how much that gets to somebody now luckily it doesn't matter to me i really could care less about a comment or anything but you never really know how much a comment can actually hurt somebody. If you feel a certain way about someone, just keep it to yourself or talk to it with someone else in private. That way you can get it off your chest or something, but there's no need to spread that toxicity. We don't need that. Anyway, guys, it's your boy Badge Plug. You have been plugged in. If you enjoyed this video and for some reason you have not dropped a like yet, it's okay. I will excuse it just this one time. You can go ahead and drop a like now. Hit that subscribe button if you're new and I'm out. Peace.